Welcome to Big Luxury. In this video, we are going to take a look at the comparison between Gulfstream G700 versus Bombardier Global 7500. Gulfstream G700 Price of Gulfstream G700 cost around $75 million. The G700 has a takeoff distance of just 6,250 feet and a reported landing distance of just 2,500 feet. Cabin length of Gulfstream G700 is 56 feet 11 inch and cabin height of 6 feet 3 inches. Gulfstream G700 features true circadian light to simulate the sunlight of your next time zone to help reduce the effect of jet lag additionally. The G700 has a maximum cabin altitude of just 4850 feet, one of the lowest cabin altitude to be found on a private jet, helping you sleep better and reduce the effect of jet lag. G700 is fitted with 20 of the largest windows in business aviation flooding the interior with natural light to make the already large cabin feel even more spacious. The G700 features smooth Wi-Fi so that you can stay connected when you are in the air for hours at a time. Additionally, the Gulfstream design cabin view lets passenger track flight progress, display point of interest and provides passenger briefings. The G700 also features an all-new seat design. These seats are handcrafted for each aircraft and can be converted to ergonomic beds. This provides the passenger with utmost comfort. The G700 has a maximum capacity of 19 passengers in a sitting configuration and space for 13 passengers in a sleeping configuration. The cabin can be configured with up to 5 living spaces, so you will always be able to get some privacy from your fellow passengers. When on a long flight, typical layout includes a forward lavatory opposite the aircraft entryway, forward by spacious closet and a forwarded galley that is built around a 10-foot long countertop providing ample space for a crew to prepare meals. The galley has room for a large sink, a full-size oven, a micro-oven, a big refrigerator, coffee makers and all the storage space you will need to keep passengers and crew happy for 14 hours. Optional crew rest area can be placed as well. Then comes an entertainment zone that houses a 40-inch 4K monitor with immersive 3D sound from transducer built into the cabin sideway panels. Behind the entertainment lounge is a six-seat grouping for conference or dining featuring a wireless smartphone charger built into the table. Throughout the impressive quiet cabin, you will find multiple charging ports and power outlets. The G700 offers many cabin layouts and seemingly endless finer detail. It can be equipped with a carved edge queen-size bed opposite a full-size dresser. The adjacent aft lap features two windows, a stand-up closet, a large vanity, and an optional stand-up shower. The lab also features in-flight access to the pressurized 195 cubic foot baggage hold which can convey 2,500 pounds at the front. The G700 features the Gulfstream symmetric flight deck similar to other modern Gulfstream aircrafts. The symmetric flight deck features the active control side stick for increased safety. Additionally, intuitive touch screen, avionics and phase of flight intelligence helps reduce pilot workload and aircraft startup time. The G700 can be fitted with Gulfstream enhanced flight vision system. A nose mounted infrared camera and dual heads up display which helps to land the plane more easily even in poorer weather conditions. G700 is powered by twin Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines that are mounted on the rear of the jet. The thrust of these engines are able to push the aircraft to a maximum operating speed of Mach 0.925. The G700 is able to fly up to 7500 nautical miles non-stop. Meaning that departing from London, the G700 can reach about any continent without needing to refuel with a maximum cruising altitude of 51,000 feet. The Gulfstream is able to provide a smooth ride above bad weather conditions as well. When it comes to fixed costs, there are criteria that have been identified as the biggest contributor to the annual cost of operation. This cost includes crew salary, crew training, hangar, insurance management, and the additional miscellaneous fixed costs. Talking about variable costs, there are main factors like the cost of fuel, maintenance, engine overhaul, crew landing, and handling fees as well. With other various costs, all these variables are proportional to the number of hours flown. The Gulfstream G700 is very difficult to charter. The hourly cost of a Gulfstream G700 charter should be in the range of $13,000 to $15,000. While the G700 is still very difficult to charter, it is available to purchase. The purchase price of a Gulfstream G700 base model is $75 million before options and there are many options that you can select. So there you have it, a glimpse of Gulfstream G700. What do you think of this jet? Do let us know in the comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel, Big Luxury. The Bombardier Global 7500 was announced in 2010 and made its first flight in 2016 and was able to certify it in 2018, entering service in December of the same year. The Bombardier Global 7500 The Bombardier Global 7500 is a step ahead of Bombardier Global 6000. It has the flair, the wow factor, and the price tag that Global 6000 wishes it had. The Bombardier Global 7500 will run you around $70 million. The Bombardier Global 7500 has a range of 7,700 nautical miles, which means it can take you practically anywhere in the world you would like to go, and it will take you there fast with a top speed of Mach 0.925. This plane happens to be a lot larger than its predecessor as well. Spanning 111 feet in length, with a wingspan of 104 feet, it sure knows how to draw some attention on the runway. And inside it, knows how to command attention as well. The cabin height is the same as the 6000, at 6 feet 2 inches tall, but it uses that space in a much much different way. Upon entering, you will step into the aviation industry's largest galley. It boasts dual conventional and micro ovens. The kitchen also has a coffee and espresso maker, which is certainly necessary on those long flights. It has a crew rest area, which is much more private than that of Global 6000. Next, you will enter the club suit, which features four patented nose seats, which were engineered by Bombardier Industrial Design Team. The chair can recline on a floating base. Beside the chair, there are two concealed side tables and large windows which contribute to the sleek, uncluttered look of the plane. Behind that, you will find the conference suit, which features a unique meeting and dining area that can sit six individuals comfortably. There is also a wall-mounted television in case you like to watch some news on the go. Beyond the conference suit of the plane, there is the entertainment suit, a three-seat dive-in as well, as a large entertainment cabinet that can conceal any video game console you need to store. Normally when you're flying, you are not exactly getting the best sound quality or anything you are watching or listening to, but the Bombardier Global 7500, you are treated to an immersive audio system that can be controlled by retractable OLED dials in the side panels. But if you grow tired of those areas on the plane, you can retire to the private suit in the back. There you will find a dedicated bed and an additional dive in to relax on. If you are just trying to get away from all those noise, there is also an additional ensuite restroom which most buyers choose to add a shower to. The Bombardier Global 7500 is equipped with Bombardier's Pure Air System, an advanced air purification system that features a HEPA filter that purifies and cleans the air. Not only can the system provide fresh air, but also purified air with better humidity to provide rapid heating and cooling of the cabin as well. Bombardier Global 7500 is powered by two rear-mounted GE Passport engines, with each one being able to produce over 18,000 pounds of thrust. Total, these general electric engines are able to power the Global 7500 to a maximum cruising altitude of 51,000 feet and a maximum cruising speed of 516 knots. The Global 7500 is able to take off in just 5,800 feet, which is quite impressive considering the overall size of the aircraft and a landing speed of just 2,520 feet. A special feature of the GE Passport engine is that it has a unified propulsion system with advanced health monitoring that delivers exceptional reliability, increased efficiency, lower emissions, and reduced maintenance costs, having been specially designed for the Global 7500. When it comes to fixed costs, there are criteria that have been identified as the biggest contributor to the annual cost of operation. This cost includes crew salary, crew training, hangar, insurance management, and the additional miscellaneous fixed costs. Talking about variable costs, there are main factors like the cost of fuel, maintenance, engine overhaul, crew landing, and handling fees as well. With other various costs, all these variables are proportional to the number of hours flown. The estimated charter cost for a Bombardier Global 7500 is around $15 per flight hour. The price for the plane starts from $70 million before options. If you are looking for a pre-owned option, unfortunately there aren't many Global 7500s for sale at the time of making this video. Because of this, buying a pre-owned unit is going to cost about the same, but has the advantage of being available immediately. There you have it, a comparison between Gulfstream G700, 
versus Bombardier Global 7500. So which one do you prefer? Do let us know in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel, Big Luxury.